What do we think is shit? Thank you. It's happened again. It's happened again. So much fun. It's happened again. Again. It's happened again. So much fun. It's happened again. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Ha ha, guys. We got another one. Another one in Tushol's jail. Nuno Espirito Santo today joined Tushol's jail. The Blue Army completely destroyed Nuno Espirito Santo's Tottenham Hotspurs. Ha ha ha! Another one. Another one. You can count on and on. Moreno in the jail. Pep Guardiola in the jail. Klopp in the jail. Ancelotti in the jail. Everybody in the jail. The best manager in the entire freaking world at the moment. 3-0. Three, three point in the pocket. Another clean sheet. And guess who was in goal? Kepa Arisa Balaga. That tells you everything you want to know. And who scored? The people that you never thought. The people out of the blue. Thiago Silva. Engolo Kante. Tony Rudiger. Man, Chelsea are the best in the world. I don't want to hear anything. Please watch my vlog. Guys, it's Oogs. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching my sofa vlog. Sofa vlog from the US, but I'm taking you to Tottenham Hotspur's shiny stadium in London, where the Blues are going to destroy the chickens. Haha, <laughs> you know the chicken? Haha, <laughs> Tottenham Hotspurs, right? So, the Sofa Vlog is the show that I always record before the game, during the game, and after the game to give you my real feeling in that particular moment. So, the beginning is going to be completely different than the end because it depends on the emotions of the moment if that makes sense but before i go any further i will ask you a huge favor please consider to subscribe to the channel like the video share it costs you nothing it's only one click away one second game over thank you so much the lineup just came out and we have kepa arisa balaga in goal christensen Thiago Silva, Rudiga, Aspilicueta, Kovacic, Jorginho, Alonso, Harvard, Lukaku, and Mount. On the bench, we have Bettinelli, Chilwell, James, Chaloba, Kante, Saul Niguez, Kalium Hassanadoy, Ziyech, and Timo Werner. Hmm. This one is going to be a little bit controversial here because, first of all, Edouard Mendy the wall is not there. The only reason I can think of right now is that uh, it could be he's sick or something happened in the last training session. Maybe a little injury or something, but let's wait and see what the manager is going to tell us because he's not even on the bench. So Kepa in goal is just changing the whole dynamic of the team because Tottenham are going to be encouraged to shoot from distance. But I'm going to stay positive here and see what's going to happen. Marcos Alonso is starting today, rightly so because he likes to score against Tottenham or at least have a very good game. Chile will stay on the bench. No Kalim Hasnadoy or Ziyech, but it's all good for now. I always repeat, at the beginning of uh, the game, the manager always is a loser. It's a lose-lose situation. If he wins, he's a genius. If he doesn't win, people are going to call him out and ask some questions. It's the nature of this business and there is nothing you can do about it to change. Go you blues, 
Don't Let Me Down. First half, 0-0. First of all, Tottenham Hotspurs lied to people. They made it looks like everybody is injured. Son, injury, Dombele, injury, and they're gonna play with a bunch of kids. But guess what? Surprise, surprise, everybody was there. They had their strongest team in a while. Everybody was there and they were dominating in the midfield, Dombele and Hoiberg. They ran the show over Kovacic and Jorginho Frelo. Let's be honest. When you put some physical people in the midfield, you can have some joy playing against Jorginho and Kovacic. A lot of back pass sideways, backward sideways, to be honest with you. They committed few fouls here and there to try to catch up with the midfield from Spurs. We don't have enough pace in that uh, uh, that midfield we've been really run over another weak link being Marcos Alonso a little bit but you can um, expect something out of the blue from Marcos Alonso at some point but his pace kind of uh, you know hurting us at the moment another one Kai Harvard Kai Harvard body language I'm not uh, I'm not happy about it in the first half he looks like not really interested in anything missing shot that he would have never missed in the normal circumstance he will shoot the ball instead of passing the ball to somebody who is in the better position and he will push, he will pass the ball when the defense is already organized and back in position he always takes like two second late delay Benson Mount also not good enough in the first half. Romelu Lukaku isolated on his own, trying to create to do magic on his own. I don't even know how many balls he touched in the first half. No service at all. Only the defense is keeping us in the game this first half. Tottenham Hotspurs must be very happy with the first half, but for Chelsea, I'm not happy at all. The second half. I want to see Thomas Tuchel make some brave decisions. We need Kante and probably we need somebody like um, Chile, okay? And probably uh, Timo Werner. Somebody need to come with a new blood, new energy and try to win this game. The second half. Oh my goodness. We completely destroyed Tottenham Hotspurs. 3-0 in the second half and london is blue the painting job is done and london is going to remain blue always blue i knew it it's gonna be a spursy thing that's what they do they try to push and push but at the end they're gonna collapse that is exactly what happened when this man here came on haha <laughs> ngolo kante came to replace uh mason mount who wasn't really having a good game by the way i'm gonna make my player ratings so i'm gonna talk in details about players but him and kai harvard didn't have a good game and they were not supplying to lukaku lukaku was creating space because he had to keep people busy because people are going just to remember about the goals he didn't score any goal and whatever whatever but at the end of the day he was keeping people busy in the defense that uh, allowed us to have a lot of space to score we could have scored even five six goals we were very unlucky marco salonzo had some great shot on target hugo loris man was like from heaven or somewhere stopped everything from marco salonzo today but he had a very good game beside few moments that he you know he was very very tired because of his pace and all that but overall marco salonzo was amazing goals from el monstro himself tiago silva what a player we have in our hands give him extension one more year chelsea <laughs> a header bullet header no kurt zuma no problem because tiago silva is going to take um the business seriously to start scoring those headers the second goal, Ngolo Kante, he, whoa, what a shot. He was on target, but 
somebody deflect it in the in the net so it's still Engolo Kante's goal you're not gonna take that away from him and Engolo Kante knows how to not make people and score goals remember uh, I think in the Carabao Cup years ago when he had like three not made uh, all the the defense the Spurs defense he likes to score against Spurs and the last one the hustle himself Tony Rudiger what a goal that was a striker's goal okay man is a lot a lot of stuff to cover here but I'm not gonna be able to cover in a very short video three points in the pocket we are top of the league we we kept another clean sheet I was worried about Kepa Arisa Balaga but he proved me wrong happy days happy days we need to uh to celebrate this moment because we are chelsea we are champions of europe and nobody is going to take this away from us stay tuned for my player ratings and many other videos coming your way go you blues it's happened again it's happened